So I have an interesting project today. Uh, it's basically speech recognition using Python. Incorporating speech recognition into any programming language, into any piece of code, that basically increases a level of interactivity. It's it could be considered as a step further in the traditional GUI approach. Uh, basically, you're simplifying the GUI. You're taking uh, commands from the user. You're recognizing speech and text from it, and then you're performing some ac actions according to it. Uh, so that's the basic flow, and it's pretty interesting if you think about it. How far we have come. So I thought maybe we could develop a short program of our own, uh, which basically uh, does the same. So most of these modern speech recognition technologies they use something called hidden Markov model. Now this is a statistical uh, concept. Uh, we don't have to get into the details of the statistical aspect itself uh, as we are just going to utilize the library which is already in place. All we have to do is just import those libraries and call those respective functions and that would be doing all of the speech recognition work for us. So the idea I have in mind is uh, writing a short piece of code which would which would enable me to launch an application by just calling its name. For example, if I call something like uh, launch blender, it should uh, recognize the blender word from it and then it should launch the blender application which is installed on my system. So pretty interesting the way I see it gives you a lot of control. Probably we could develop something like Jarvis in our next iterations. So let's get into it, shall we? algorithm let's break down the flow of operation into certain segments okay so the first would be taking input uh, from the user through voice so for that we will be using a library which is called py audio that is py audio and then second step would be running a speech recognition function on that specific audio we have a library for that which is called speech recognition and this would be giving out an output of a string that would be the transcription of audio once we have the transcription, once we have the string for that audio, we'll try to find if there is any application name present in that sentence. And if the application name is found, we'll call another function which would in turn launch that application. And as an additional part, we'll also implement text to speech function so that it gives out some prompts, uh, some voice prompts. That would be interesting. For that, we have a library which we can utilize. Coming to the code setup, I'll be sharing the link for this python file uh, in my description. All you have to do is just go to that link, download the python file and import that file into Visual Studio Code. We'll be using Visual Studio Code to run this uh, piece of code because it's easy. Because personally I feel it's uh, convenient to run such short programs using a VS Code. But first we have to install certain libraries. I'll be sharing the commands to install those libraries in the description. You can just go ahead. Copy those commands and paste it into this terminal here and that would install all of the libraries which are needed for this uh, file. So coming to our code walkthrough, it's actually a fairly simple project. Uh, we have certain functions defined for carrying out each action. Uh, let's come to our main class as in the main piece of code. So this is where we have defined the list of applications uh, which we can run, which this piece of code is supposed to launch. And then we have defined these two objects. Now these two objects are something which are, which are coming from the speech recognition class. We are just basically creating instances of those uh, classes. And after that, uh, we are calling this uh, text to speech function. Now this is a fairly simple function. It takes input as the string and it's going to convert that string to audio. So if you have a look at that uh, function, it's just three lines of code. It, it takes that uh, string as the input parameter. It uh, does some function on it. And then it's going to play the audio of that string. And that's what is happening here. I've just added this line of code to give that additional feel of interactivity. And after that, we are straight up going to call this function uh, that is going to recognize the speech. And we are passing two parameters here the instances which we have created here let's go and have a look at that function so here is the function this is the function responsible for uh, recognizing speech 
let's consider this uh, line of code now you all you of course have some noise in your audio right whenever it's whenever the microphone is picking your audio it's going to have some noise now to deal with that noise uh, we have this function which is also predefined in that library of speech recognition this takes in that audio it's going to clean that audio remove uh, to the best of its ability to remove that noise which would in turn increase the overall accuracy of the speech recognition we have set up certain response object in, to make sure that we are under we are understanding what kind of response we are getting now this is the line of code where it actually is going to call a function called recognize google now speech recognition itself is going to make an api call to google's uh, speech recognition algorithm that and the response which it gets from that api call that is what is being uh, processed here now if we get a successful response it's going to store that response in this uh, transcription so if by any uh, reason uh, if we are not able to get the response or if we are able to get incorrect response it's going to store those as well in these other error and success uh, keys of this uh, response object which we have created what it's going to do is it's going to return that response uh, to our main uh, function now this is where it gets that uh, response we uh, we are running certain if conditions on that uh, response uh, to see if we have gotten any transcription now if we got any transcription successfully it's going to simply print out that transcription to let the user know this is what the user said and we have certain mechanisms or uh, we have certain print statements to let the users know if at all the response fails as well so that is what is happening in this piece of code till this point what we have done is we have taken input as the audio from the user through microphone and it's going to take that audio it's going to clean that audio for the noise and then it's going to run the speech recognition function on that audio to recognize the text from it and if if it's able to recognize that text correctly properly without any issues it's going to store that in a variable and that is what we are going to use after that now what we need to do is we need to identify if if the name of any application from this list is present in that transcription string if the name is present it's supposed to launch that application so that is what we have in mind so this that is what is happening here so we have created another function here as run application it's going to take input parameter as the string that is the transcription string which was converted which was recognized from the input audio now let's have <coughs> let's go and have a look at that function run application we have that string as of now i'm just trying to execute three applications and i've defined three separate if statement blocks for each application it's not convenient but uh, since we are not dealing with that huge number of applications i think the singular if statements uh, should suffice now it's going to see if the calculator word is present in that transcription sentence if at all it's present it's going to call this sub process p open sub process is a function provided by python to launch an application launch an executable file basically dot exe file so it's going to take an argument as the location of that exe file now cal calculator dot exe is located in this location so we have that location specified here so this is going to execute that calculator and then it's going to send out a success response if it's able to execute that application successfully and if at all there is a failure it's also going to show us that there has been an error executing this application similarly i have uh, defined the if block for blender i have specified the blender.exe location here in the sub process uh, function and i have done the same for audacity application as well so as you can see we have pretty much everything in place so i think we are good to run this application now the moment we start this application it's going to start expecting audio through this microphone as the input so that is what we are going to do so let's just execute this application here hello venki how are we doing today could you please launch blender for me sure opening blender now so as you can see it was able to recognize the speech it was able to uh, pick the word blender from it and it was able to launch that application pretty cool if you ask me let's just close this blender and let's just run this application again hello venki how are we doing today please launch calculator for me sure thing opening calculator now 
it was able to recognize the word calculator as well hello baby how are we doing today could you please launch blender for me sure opening blender now so it's pretty cool the way application is working i think uh, we are uh, we were able to achieve uh, all of the things we had in mind uh, it's not it's not much sophisticated it's actually a very basic and rudimentary approach which we followed there is of course a lot of scope for improvement in this probably we could implement certain features of machine learning into it but at the least we have a working project in place which we can utilize later on whenever it's needed so whenever we require speech recognition to add that additional level of interactivity so yeah that's all for this project i'll make sure that i share the link for this in the description you can go ahead and download that piece of code and experiment with it uh, i really do hope you learned something new from it i really do hope you found the video interesting and if you did please make sure you like share and subscribe this video uh, that encourages me to keep doing things like this that's all for this one let's catch up in the next one cheers